Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. In this episode, we're going to be talking about adjusting the speed output so our speedometers read correctly. On two of our swaps, the Budget EG and the Black and Blue Civic, uh, both of those have transmissions that have a countershaft speed sensor. Now we need to slow that signal down a lot to run our speedometers. Now this can actually be done inside the ECU of both the Han data and the K-Tuner. They're both set up to do that. With the Han data, it's kind of special. You need to make sure you have the latest version of the Han data, I think it's the V4, and it had to have been installed by Han data themselves. And if that's the case, then on B11 on the ECU plug is actually a vehicle speed output that you can then feed to the car to get the proper speed signal there. But there's some adjustment you have to make. Now, on the K-Tuners, they also have a vehicle speed output. This is on E26 on the E-plug. And if you buy most of the conversion harness, harnesses that are set up for the K-Tuner ECU, they have a VSS out that's hooked up properly to get back to your car's uh, speedometer. But in order to make the adjustments, I'm gonna turn it over to Carter so he can explain how it's done. Okay, so the testing procedure is actually pretty simple. Uh, first thing we had to do was download a GPS app to our phone. We actually downloaded a few to find the most accurate one and compare them. Uh, side note on the GPS apps, by the way, when you're doing this, you need a good bit of road to hold that speed because it takes a couple seconds for the GPS app to uh, zero in on your speed actually, or catch up with it. Uh, so once we had that ready, we hopped in the cars, plugged in the computer so we could read the VSS signal directly to the ECU, compare it to the dash to make sure they were at least the same, and then we compared them to the uh, GPS speed to figure out how fast we were actually going, how far it was off. With that information, we were able to determine a, per, a correction percentage uh, to input into the programs, and then we went out and tested again in the same manner. All right, so the first car we did was the uh, 01 Black and Blue Civic that uses Han data. So we're gonna open up our Han data. Uh, now we've already got the program, uh, the tune loaded in. Uh, we wanna go over to our parameters. Now some people might confu confuse under the multiplexer digital output, there is a speedometer correction, but that is for a Lotus. So we need to go over to the miscellaneous category. And here there is a speedometer correction which is set to 0% right now. So we took out all the cars and ran them at 40 miles an hour down the road, 40 miles an hour indicated. And then we checked on GPS. So the black and blue Civic was doing, so we're gonna take, was actually doing uh, 42, sometimes bump into 43. So we'll take the 40 that we had originally done, divide that by 42, comes out at 0.95. Now obviously we're not gonna correct it by 95%. We're gonna take the uh, inverse of that and it's gonna be 5%. So we're gonna add a 5% correction to it. I could select it, there we go. Backspace, 5%, we're good there. Then we're gonna go ahead and save the tune and re-upload it to the car and go for another drive and see how accurate we are. So the Budget EG has a K-Tuner software, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our K-Tuner app. Now in the K-Tuner, we're gonna go to main parameters, hit the little plus, go down to speedo calibration, Click on that, and that will give us our ECU correction and our cluster correction. So, the budget EG, we were doing 40 miles an hour, and we we're actually doing 34, so we'll take 34 divided by 40 to figure out the percentage difference. So that's 0.85, so actually it's, we're gonna do the inverse of that, 15%, and because we're going over, we're gonna do a negative, so we need to go negative 15%. So, negative 15. Actually, I'll say this now, when we did negative 15%, it was still a little off. So we actually just kind of took a shot in the dark and went for negative 13%. And we also had to correct the cluster, because uh, the first time we didn't do that either, and the cluster stayed the same. So we'll go negative 13% there. And we'll go ahead and upload that to our uh, ECU and uh, see how that does now. All right, so the third car we did was my 07 Accord. Um, that's K-Turner also, so we're gonna go ahead and open that up. 
And same as the uh, budgie EG, we'll go into main parameters, down to speedo calibration. Now the Accord is off. Uh, it is looking for high speed VSS, but it's off because we have a TSX transmission and it's still expecting an Accord gear set. So we'll go into our calculator. We took that out for a drive too, and it was just as off as a budgie EG. So we were doing 40 and we were actually uh, doing 34. So we'll take 34 divided by 40 equals 0.85. So the inverse of that would be 15%, negative 15% is what we need. So we'll go ahead and type that in. Uh, if I can do it, negative 15. And we know that we have to adjust the cluster also because of what we learned on the EG. So we'll go ahead and re-upload that and uh, take it for another spin and see if it's correct. Now for this, we only really took one data point, kind of low speed, 40 miles an hour. Yeah, we really just wanted to get them close enough that we weren't hot running around the neighborhood without knowing about it. Um, if we wanted to get more accurate, we would need to do freeway speeds because right. the greater the speed, uh, the bigger the divergence will be in the accuracy of it. Um, so yeah, if we did 70, 80 miles an hour, we could get a lot more accurate. And then on the programs, you can also enter the percentage in down to decimal points also. So there's a lot more room for accuracy there if we want to. Very good. But the good news is, if you've got a Honda or a K-Tuner, you may not need to go out and buy somebody's uh, counter set speed sensor uh, adjuster for your particular um, car. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do most of the stuff actually in the ECU. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, good things in there. Yeah. So thank you guys very much for joining us on another episode of VTech Academy. I hope you learned something. Uh, and uh, if you like what you saw, please think about hitting the subscribe button and maybe taking a tour over to the VTech Academy website and maybe purchasing one of the VTech Academy shirts. This way we can afford to uh, pay him to edit these videos. Yes, now that I'm uh, not working anymore. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Talk to you later.